Hey everybody, it's Kylie from Courageous Beauty, a girls group for conversations about healthy relationships and self-worth. And this is where I answer questions that I get from our girls group or from other places that we have visited, such as the Geneva High School, which is where these two questions came from. Um, and I answer two of them because from the school we got, we got a whole bunch of different kinds of questions. Some of them are personal, more asking about me and my team, and some of them are about relationships. So I'm going to answer one of each today. So let's get started. Today's personal question is, what is your longest relationship? My personal experience um, is my current relationship. I have been in relationship with my fiance for um, a year and almost two months at this point. So, um, before that, I've only ever been in one other serious relationship and that one lasted about six months. It was a little shorter than that. And that one was long distance. Um, before that I didn't have a serious relationship, but I did have crushes. I had interests and, um, they just never went beyond kind of like, Hey, I kind of like you. Um, I don't know what to do with that. So my longest relationship is my current one. And hopefully, you know, we're getting ready to get married. So hopefully that is going to last a lot longer than that. So to move on, I mean, you guys are welcome to ask a little bit more about that. If you want to, you can comment below or I will include in um, the, just the links in the description box below an opportunity for you to submit an anonymous question. You can ask more about that if you want to know. Um, our relationship question today is... When is the right time to say, I love you? This kind of ties into what we talked about. Um, I think it was last week when I was answering, how do you define love? Um, when is the right time to say, I love you? So first off, let me re-emphasize what love means. Um, love is not about a feeling though it sometimes can include one. Love is a choice. It's, it's a set of actions, right? So first thing I would say, you need to know whether your actions toward this person are loving. And if that is the case, if you have found that, you know, this person really means a lot to me and I've had consistent behavior from my own side that says this person is, is very important to me. Like, putting my own desires aside or just making sure that they, they have their, their needs met first or, you know, just seeking their goodwill. Um, you, you can kind of get a better idea of whether you do love somebody. So when is the right time to say, I love you? I'm going to speak from my own personal relationship for a second here, if that's okay. Um, I did get to the point of saying, I love you in both of my serious relationships and probably around the same time um, for each of them. Um, I think for my, my fiance and I, we said, I love you about four, three to four months into our relationship. And I remember we were very intentional about when we said that because we didn't want, I love you to become something just nonchalant, easy to say. We wanted it to have meaning. And I, I think it's important to have meaning because I think um, I love you might be thrown around a little bit too quickly and a little bit too easily. And some people might not realize how much meaning it carries with it. So for me and my fiance, and also with my previous relationship, we were very intentional about when we said it. And we also were very intentional to communicate exactly what we meant by that. So it was a really special moment when we did say, I love you. And for me, I finally was ready to say I love you when I felt I really knew the person I was getting to know and it was for me it was about three to four months into that relationship that I really felt like I knew this person like we had spent a lot of time talking we had spent a lot of time doing activities together we had met each other's families and spent time with each other's families and each other's friends so I knew what kind of people influenced him and he knew what kind of people influenced me so I really knew them and second um, not only had they shown me that I could trust them 
and that they cared about me and they cared about my interests, but I had seen myself show trust, trusting behavior and I had, I had shown that I myself cared about this person. And so we felt it was ready, it was time to say I love you. So I guess to answer that question, the number one thing that I would look for um, before you start saying I love you is do I know this person? Do I really know them? And where is their level of commitment in this relationship? Um, I guess also what do you feel like is, what are you saying when you say I love you? I remember when my fiance and I were just getting ready to start to say that, um, we kind of came up with this list is when I say I love you, this is what I mean. This means I choose to spend my time with you. I choose to put you first. It means that I choose to honor you. I choose to speak the truth to you. I choose to fight for you and all these different things. Because like I said, love is an action. So I would first look to know this person. I would look for myself. What do I want I love you to mean when I say it? And make sure my partner knows what that means. And I want to know what they mean when they say I love you. And to see, um, you know, where, where you want this relationship to go and where your partner is with that. Um, yeah, I don't think there's a cut and dry answer. I think it's going to be different for everyone. So you're going to look at those factors um, before you know it's time to say I love you. And it could be six weeks into the relationship. I don't think that's common. And you should have spent a lot of intentional time with this person before you get to that point. But, and it, and it might be a couple years down the road. You don't know. It's going to be different. So, I love you is a serious, serious phrase. And I guess you need to decide for yourself what that means and what criteria you would want in place before it is said. So, there's my answer, guys. And um, again, if you want to know a little bit more about that, feel free to ask more questions in the comments or to, to go to our links and ask the questions there. Um, like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, comment, share it, you know, whatever. Um, I'll put all of our links in the description below and you can find out more about what we do and I'll be answering more questions later. So, till next time. Bye!